Before you buy a VPN, make sure you get the right one. Because there is a lot of really bad VPNs out there that overcharge like crazy and have really slow speeds. And the worst part is that they are not even secure. That's why I recommend you all to go to vpndiscount.org right now and pick one of the VPNs from their list that they reviewed. Not only is it reviewed by VPN experts, they also provide the best discount for you to use. I used their site to get NordVPN and I was able to save 75% off, which is absolutely massive savings. So do not miss out. Go to vpndiscount.org org now and secure yourself one of the best VPNs in the world for super cheap. They also have others like ExpressVPN which is also really good as well. But it's also really simple to use the site, you just click the link, then buy the VPN and install it onto your PC, laptop, Mac or even mobile device. There's no reason you shouldn't have a VPN in this day and age. Try it out and stay safe online guys. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about Australia's new online safety law, also known as the Social Media Age Restriction Law. It officially passed in 2024 and takes effect this December. This law sets a minimum age of 16 for social media users and it's already creating a lot of discussion. The government recently shared the final details, but here's the thing, only the tech companies themselves really know how it's going to work. Instead of building one national system, Australia is letting each platform decide how to verify users' ages and block underage accounts. That includes Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, and others. The process might look different for every app. Some could use facial recognition. Others might ask for your ID or link your account to your phone number. No one fully knows yet, and that's part of the problem. Now let's pause for a second. Whether or not teenagers should be restricted from social media is a big debate on its own, but the real issue is how this might affect everyone else, especially adults. If you look at how similar rules played out in the UK with the Online Safety Act, even adults ended up blocked from normal content they should have been able to see. And the same thing started happening in the US when YouTube began testing age checks. There were cases where grown adults were locked out of certain videos while their 15-year-old relatives could still watch them. The bigger concern though is privacy. To verify your age, most platforms will rely on third-party companies like Persona and others that handle ID verification. These services collect a lot of sensitive information, names, addresses, ID numbers, maybe even face scans, and anytime that much data is stored, the risk of leaks goes up. Plenty of people already feel uneasy about giving personal identification just to use apps like Instagram or YouTube. A single security breach could expose private information that can't ever really be taken back. So what's the best way to avoid all this? People in the UK found a simple workaround months ago. They started using VPNs, or virtual private networks. A VPN basically tricks websites into thinking you're connecting from another country. Let's say you're sitting in Sydney, but your VPN is connected to a server in New York. To every website or social platform, it looks like you're in the United States. That means you automatically bypass the Australian age restrictions. At the same time, a VPN also protects your privacy. It encrypts your data, which means your internet activity is hidden from hackers, advertisers, and even government surveillance. Now the big question, which VPN should you actually use? After testing quite a few, I'd say there are two solid choices, Proton VPN and ExpressVPN. If you want something free and trustworthy, Proton VPN is one of the best options. Most free VPNs are terrible. They're slow, filled with ads, and many of them sell your browsing data to advertisers. Proton VPN does the opposite. It follows a strict no-logs policy, meaning it doesn't store or record any of your personal activity. Even if a government agency asked for that data, Proton simply wouldn't have anything to give. Another nice thing is that Proton VPN gives you unlimited data even on the free plan. The trade-off is that you only get access to a few server locations, speeds can be a bit slower, and you can only use it on one device. It's also not ideal for streaming platforms like Netflix or Disney+, Plus, but for occasional browsing or bypassing regional restrictions, it works really well. If you want something faster and more powerful, go for ExpressVPN. It's one of the top-rated paid options out there. It has servers in over 100 countries, very stable connections, and top-level encryption. What I like about ExpressVPN is that it's been independently audited multiple times, and those audits confirmed that it really doesn't log or store user data. So you're not just taking their word for it. It's been verified. Using it is easy. You just open the app, pick your location, click connect, and that's it. So here's the bottom line. Australia's new online safety law was created to protect younger users, but it's probably going to cause confusion for a lot of people. Adults may face unnecessary blocks and everyone will be asked to hand over more personal data than ever before. If you're uncomfortable sharing ID or worried about your privacy, using a VPN is a simple, safe way to stay in control of what you access online. If you only need one occasionally, Proton VPN's free version should be enough. But if you want a faster, more reliable connection for daily use, ExpressVPN is definitely worth it. You'll find links 
links and detailed reviews for both in the description below, along with any discount offers that might be available. The truth is, this new law might come from good intentions, but it shows just how messy online regulation can get when governments hand off control to tech companies. The rules sound clear on paper, but in practice, they create more confusion than safety. So stay informed, protect your privacy, and think twice before giving away your personal details to every app that asks for it. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful or want me to break down more about these new policies, leave a comment below and I'll make a follow-up video soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care and stay safe online.